recent, this comes from, I, I'm sorry, I forgot to pull the person's name. I apologize, whoever sent this. I could find it quickly, I'm sure, but I'm not going to. Recent, we, uh, recently, we've heard that there may be a distinction between salvation and eternal life. How would you define each or are they interchangeable? Salvation is a blanket term that includes justification, sanctification, uh, being being glorified with uh, through Yeshua, making intercession continually for us, and also includes eternal life uh, after the judgment. Salvation is an all encompassing of all of these workings to bring us to one thing that is salvation. Salvation is enacted through the Messiah Yeshua. Exactly. And here, here's a critical point that I think that our interaction with what Berkson was teaching is, is where we're coming from completely different places. We are not apart from Messiah trying to work hard to hopefully one day be in Messiah. We have assurance. If, if, if your viewpoint yeah. of, of your belief in Yeshua... Your belief? Did you just say... Wait, did you just say... Your belief? Well, I say major, so can I say belief? <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep going. If, if, the, if your map, if your you know, map of understanding your relationship with God is that you're apart from God, like you're separate, and you're trying to work and uh, like overcome obstacles and stuff in, in the hope that one day you will be actually in it with God in Messiah, then, then that is not actually a biblical model. That's the, the, the gospel is that he has put his resurrection life in the heart of the elect and that is his. There's no difference between Yeshua's resurrection life when he's interacting in the during the counting of the Omer, right after the resurrection. There's no difference between Yeshua's resurrection life there to the resurrection life in the Middle Ages to the resurrection life today. Preach Yeshua. He ever lives to make intercession, right? and so that's the life. So when when you believe in Him, you're sealed with the Ruach Hakodesh. That is. That is him putting his word and planting eternal life into you. And that is, that is, uh, you now participate. That is your new create. That is who you are now. Now you still have, we still have these, it's almost like, I don't, it's not like we're zombies, but, but you, the old person, the old man is reckoned as having died. That's why the, that's why the curse of the Torah, the, the Torah is true and it's the giant measuring stick. But the sin that we were condemned for by the truth and holiness of God's Torah and that we are all sinners and have fallen short of, that is reckoned as, as it, that person's dead. And you our, our life now and that which is fruitful in this world is, comes from Yeshua in us. It's not somewhere we're, we're trying to be. Yeah, and Torah is written on the heart. Yeah. Keep going. That's I'm sorry. Who we, that's who we are. Yeah. And so... So the idea that we don't know if we're really saved or that Yeshua's waiting there, kind of, he's, here's the picture I see with when I listen to Berkson, is it like Yeshua's waiting at this imaginary, like, uh, finish line of this race, and he's watching, and it's like, he's just going to wait and see, you know, who's going to make it across, he's watching the time clock, and at a certain point, people who make it through the line, then he's going to go click, and he's going to stop the time, and he's like, okay, you guys made it. But you guys ever, no, that's not the picture. The picture is that, and that's why we call, the, uh, theologians call it the inaugurated eschatology, or the already but not yet. It's a, it's, uh, a concept that is really important for us to grasp, is that we've been given new life in Yeshua. No one can take it away from you. It's a new creation. Okay, I got and, an analogy. I got an analogy. Go ahead. Okay. I've just thought about this one, so this analogy might not work, but we'll see if it does. Everyone, let's think of think of everyone everyone in the world standing at at a bus platform, and everybody's blind; nobody can see. Okay, and there's a bus that pulls up, and Yeshua gets off the bus and he grabs some people's hands and he opens their eyes and he lead, he leads them onto the bus, 
If they're still blind, they, it leads them onto the bus. Now they're on the bus. Salvation is Yeshua doing work to get you on the bus. Salvation is the bus. Okay? So it's a continual work. Those who are not saved, they think they're getting on the bus. They step off the platform into the street. They think they're on the bus, but they're not. And they're going to get hit by traffic. He says, my sheep hear my voice. Exactly. And my so, sheep hear my voice. And so the point is, is, that, is that salvation is, that, is the bus. It's a continual thing. It, 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 it's, it, it's continual in the fact that we're continually being sanctified. We're continually being glorified. And uh, Yeshua is continually making intercession the, yeah, for us. Only, but we're on exactly. the bus. We're on the, the bus. Only difference, the only difference. It's not as some would have you say, like it sounded like the Berkson style of teaching, that you don't know for sure if you're saved till Judgment Day. And then Yeshua, you know, you're waiting. You're at that point. Here I'm standing before Yeshua. And he's going to either say... Well done, or he's going to say you're out of here. And I, it's like I'm, I don't know what's he going to say. Yeah, that's wrong. That's wrongheaded. Don't teach people that. And if someone's taught you that, that's not it. It's also wrongheaded to say that people in the church are not saved. Anyone in the church is not saved. Okay, I think I, we. So one more point. The go, only difference. Go. The only difference as a new creations in Messiah. The only difference between who you are right now in this world and in Olam Haba, the coming world, is that. He's going to wipe away every tear. All those, all those tribulations and obstacles and pains and heartaches and sufferings that happen in this world to believers, are, those are going to cease. But the eternal life, that new, that new creation life, that's not going to change. It's not all of a sudden you're going to have a new creation life that you don't have right now. No. The only thing that's going to change is that the, our, the environment that we're uh that we're enduring for the present. That's, that's what's going to change.